From FX Empire, it's Christopher Lewis, and I am looking at uh, Bitcoin for the trading session on the 18th. And really, uh, at this point, it's um, it's apparent that the bubbles pa popped, I think. The $10,000 level is the 50% retracement of the entire move to the upside. And... Uh, Five minutes ago, when I started writing the article, we were $100 higher. So uh, when I zoom out on the weekly chart, you can see exactly what's happened. Um, there is the possibility that we get a bit of a bounce, but I think that 10000 will offer resistance. I think 12000 almost certainly will. At this point, um, you could say... Um, the fib retracement is uh, let me go ahead and switch this back sorry about that the uh, fib retracement as you can see is reaching the 50 percent level i think we're starting to see too much in the way of negative volume for this to hold so the next level will be the 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement level at the 8000 level if we break down below there it's over. And I think at this point, what we've seen is uh, this is the futures market coming on board. We got a spike that day. We touched 20,000 and we've lost more than 50% in the last five weeks. So with that being the case, if you are looking to buy Bitcoin, and I, and I think out of all of the cryptocurrencies, it probably will continue to exist. You're probably going to need to see some type of move down to at least 6,000, probably 2,000 before it becomes a situation where you can buy and hold. Now, one of the biggest uh, things that you will hear over time is that the Bitcoin markets have dropped 90% in the past and people forget that. And that would have been this little blip down here. But at that point in time, it was a very niche market. There weren't hundreds of thousands of accounts being opened at Coinbase over the course of a weekend. That literally was the top of the market. I just don't see the way out. Um, really, at this point, the best trade is to short the futures market if you get some type of bounce. But uh, the margin for the futures contract is absolutely outrageous. It's outrageously expensive. So... At this point in time, maybe shorting a CFD uh, probably will be the way to go. But I know that a lot of brokers are starting to change uh, what they pay affiliates for bringing in people who trade cryptocurrencies. So the brokers don't like it either because they're losing. It's become such an obvious trade. Markets don't look like this for very long. As soon as everybody in the world wants to get in, the smart money who, you know, they may have gotten in at $2,000. They've made their 10 bagger. You know, they've 10 times their money plus any any leverage that they had been able to apply, they're gone. They're left um, getting people involved. That big cryptocurrency push in the Coinbase exchanges, over the weekend there were like 300,000 in just two days in San Francisco alone, like in, in that exchange, was on this candle. We've done nothing but lose money since then. Uh, those people are down 50%. So uh, I'd say that even if we do get that massive pullback and eventually get buyers, it is going to take a long time for the average retail trader to be comfortable trading this very illiquid market.